What's going on guys? Uh, today at Taco Vinyl, we're gonna be installing our new RAV4 Raptor grill on this white TRD. Uh, we're gonna jump right into the install video to make this a short, concise install so that you guys can be in and out of the job relatively quick. Okay guys, so starting up top, uh, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter. You're gonna loosen up the headlights. Uh, there's four screws on the headlights. Again, 10 millimeter, loosen those up. And then the ones that you're gonna be removing are here, 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 and here. Okay, and the only clips that you're gonna to need to remove are here, 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 and here, there's four of them. So four screws, four clips, four on the lights. Okay, now let's transition over to the fenders. Okay guys, starting down here in the fender, you're gonna have one screw here and one screw up here, okay? Then you're gonna have a clip back here, a clip right here, and then a clip up top. That's gonna release all the tension on the fender so that you can peel back the fabric right here, get your hand behind and release some clips that will release the fender flap. Okay guys, so in the back side of the fender, we got it already popped off, but I wanna show you guys how the clips work. You're gonna grab them and press them in. You're gonna start on the bottom one, press it, and then push it out. And honestly, the whole thing comes off really easy. Um, the last thing that you're gonna to have to do is a clip that's located here. You pop it out and then completely remove it. And that's gonna be the last clip in the fender that you're gonna to need to remove so that the bumper will come off. Okay guys, on the bottom side of the bumper, you're gonna have a screw here. So so you have proper orientation here. We're going right here. There's a screw there. Uh so here. Make it go a little deeper. You're just gonna hit all the ones that are 10 millimeters. So there's one, two, three, four, a few more on the other side. And those are the only ones that you need to re uh, undo. Don't do undo these clips. It's not needed. So inside the bumper, the main clips over here on the driver's side, make sure that before you completely remove the bumper, you can do it after you kind of pull it away or when you're removing the fender, you're going to want to undo these clips. Those clips connect into all the sensors, fog lights and everything on the grill. So just make sure that thing is unplugged. It's the only plug it actually so that the bumper can fully be removed. The way that we're going to remove this current grill is to use a cat claw or some form of a small pry bar. And then you got, these are technically wire strippers, but they also have these pinchers that I prefer over needle nose, but you can also use a needle nose. And then also just a standard Phillips drill or screwdriver. And yeah, let's get started. Hey okay guys, so, so far what I've uninstalled is two screws and then these plastic little uh, screw clips as well. Um, these guys are awful, but there's two of them on the top portion, so I'm just gonna remove this other one. Gotta undo this cover on it. Okay, so now that we have it completely undone from the top of the grill, you can see it's wanting to fall off there, but we still got about six or so screws here on this actual part, hidden behind. This is where this cat claw is gonna come in handy. You're gonna go behind all these guys. There you go. So, now we're gonna unplug this TSS sensor. Just push in, pull this tab, pull out. So now we're all free from this wiring harness. You can leave these two in, as well as the ones connecting to the fog lights. Push and grab this drill. Take out this screw. It's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you should have small those little eight ones. Now we're removing the TSS sensor. It's connected on here. 
via these couple screws, but this is going to be free. You just have these two additional clips right here. We're going to yank off and pull this down a little bit. Makes it a whole lot easier. Push and pull this off. There you go. Oof, popped right up. Okay, and then you got that TSS sensor we are going to take out as well. So that's literally just these three screws. One, two, three. You're going to have to put some pressure on this guy. These are out. So these just came out of the TSS. Okay, this guy's right here. Get them out. There's your TSS sensor. We'll set him aside. We are going to be modifying this upper piece. Let's finish removing this current grill. So all these are pushed in through tabs. So you're just going to push in the top portion of the tab, pull on it, give a little tension so it stays out. And then you just work your way. Across, I suggest starting on one side and working your way to the other. So. Alright, we're all set. So, these guys, you can see those clips. So, really, you just push them in your female, push out. We got the grill out. Okay guys, next part of the install is taking the upper piece of the grill and we're going to be trimming it. So there's a flat surface here that kind of runs across. Anything below here, so basically this whole piece is going to be cut off so that we have room for the TTS sensor to sit on our bracket in place of this. So um, I've already started making a cut. So basically from here all the way around over to here. We choose to use an oscillating blade. Uh, it's a little jagged. Okay guys, so this is what I mean by level playing area. So that's the surface area in which you need to cut everything off beneath, which is this chunk. Now that, we're at, now that we got that cut off, our new TTS sensor will sit right in that place. Okay, now onto the install of the grill. A very simple install. You're gonna end up lining up all the clips Put the holes in the back. Each one of these pins has a spot. And you can hear them all clip into place. That one's good. Because you'll see the actual pins pop out. Great. Now that this is all clicked in, one last thing that we need to do is make a notch right here so that we have access to these two screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Great, that allows us to get access to this Raptor light, which is part one of the mounting spots for our TSS sensor. Okay guys, now let's get into the TSS sensor installation uh, onto our bracket. Our kits will come with the Plexi, the hardware and the bracket all that's going to come from the vehicle is the actual TSS sensor. It'll go bolt, washer, spacer, then you're going to get a washer with a little bit of uh, rubber on the bottom side of it, percussion, a nut, and then the appropriate sized screw. I wouldn't show this installation because this is still the final prototype on the uh, final bracket. There will not be these extra holes. There will just be a single one and uh, it will look flawless. So. Um, again, bolt, bolt, washer, spacer, washer, nut. and then you can also add, oh, add some uh, thread locker on here, some blue or something like that. Um, that's it for the bracket, and uh, let's go ahead and install it. Okay, guys, um, here's the spot where the sensor is going to be going. Just a little mock up, it's going to be sitting just like that. Uh, first step. To installing it is you're going to want to remove the stock screws from out of the Raptor light. Yeah, so 
then in the kit you will be supplied two larger black screws along with two smaller silver ones. Same thread, just a little bit longer. So to start out, I recommend using a handheld screwdriver because these will strip out if you go too hard on tightening. And no, we will not replace your grill. Um, the only thing that needs to happen for these is they need to be snug, not tight, just where all the surfaces are touching. so that it doesn't fall apart. And what I'll do is I loosely put them in there. Then on the lower, one, lower ones, they're a little bit tighter, a little bit bigger as well. You're gonna come right here. Just like that. And then the other one. Trying to get a bracket. Cool. Our sensor is completely installed. Um, at this point, there's nothing coming from there. This is the spot for those that do come with the camera. We'll be doing a separate installation for that part of this grill. So, uh, from there, this sensor is ready to go. It's harnessed and uh, ready to go. Okay, guys, um, last part to install on this section of the vehicle is the piece that we did cut. This is where that sensor piece of plastic was, we cut it off flush. Now this just goes straight onto the spot in which it was before. Um, great lineup points are the tabs that pass through uh, this piece. You'll hear them click in, just like that. Get the upper far pieces all open in. Okay. Now you have a few screws back here, mostly smaller ones. I'm gonna start with these four that go along the bottom ridge. What's really nice about these screws is they actually screw into the grill itself. So it just add more added security of how sturdy this grill actually is. I wouldn't go too tight on them. They don't need to be extremely uh, taut and all the way down to the bottom, just super snug. Now we're gonna move on to the top part. Um, on the top, there's also four screws. Those are good. Now we need our clips. And there's gonna be four clips that go here, and the screws on the end, and then the trickiest ones over here on the end. Over here on the end, you gotta lift this piece up. And right here on top, there's gonna be one of these small little clips. Cool. Uh, last part are these tabs. And then a uh, really great part about this grill is you can still utilize all the same mounting places. We always recommend popping them all off to make installation a little bit easier. Um, you could possibly leave some of this stuff on, but good. All those went back on. Factory clip was straight back onto your sensor, and what's really nice, it's right there just like before. So, um, yeah, let's finish up. We're gonna I'm gonna throw these clips on up, up top, and then the grill will be ready for install. Okay, you guys, here are the clips that go on up top. Place them in, and crimp it together. There's four of these. Okay, one thing we recommend doing before we missed, uh, install this cover first and then install the grill so that everything lines up properly. So we're gonna move over to the fender. We're gonna walk through how to pin everything back up basically in the reverse fashion. Um, the reason we add this tape is so that when this piece comes around and is ready to click back in, you're not scratching up your headlight. First pin is the one back here. And then all these ones just clip back in.
Make sure to tuck this fender liner in here so it gets behind that and this is above that. This is a very important step. And also the one up here on the top is also over the top, right there. Um, so it's gonna go 10 mil clip, 10 mil clip. Okay guys, just review. Uh, the smaller, shorter screw goes up top and then all the longer uh, coarse threads are gonna go in the fender and all the way along the bottom. Uh, last part of this install is for the Raptor lights that go on the front. Uh, you're gonna want to get the wiring harness, get it all plugged in and then route it. You'll see that all the cables will follow here underneath the headlight then come up here next to the fuse box and we're gonna link into the fuse box uh, into the uh, the fuel injectors so that they turn on and off with the vehicle. Get the fuse box off. The fuel injectors on this specific RAV4, the one that you're looking for is the INJ, which you'll see right there at the top. Located right here. So we're gonna pluck that one and uh, get her out of fuse brought in here. All right, guys, make sure to get that 10 mil. Fantastic, we got um, a couple of these right here. So there's one right there, one right here, and then one right here, and on that other side. And we got inside the wheel wells, as we were talking about, two additional in there. And then there's a bunch on the bottom of the vehicle. That's what I'll be working on next. Okay, guys, we got a Raptor lights installed. Um, this is where we do our out of fuse. We made a notch in the box here with the Dremel and also in the lid in the corresponding spot you can see there. You can wrap this with tape if you're nervous about this getting uh, moisture or water in it if you're doing some uh, water crossings. Your ground is here. Uh, wires run under, under here. You zip tie them all up and then go over to the Raptor lights. Uh, so if this is in, grab the box. Oh, we're good to go. Um, we're gonna close this all up, clean it up, and show you guys the final problem.